Hello, hello, hello. I'm waiting for Paul. He's taking a shower. We're gonna go to see a large herd of horses. I cannot say where it is. Those are, they have about, I don't know, maybe a hundred horses together and they have, they have like a thousand acres or more to run on and explore and that's really, really, that's the way they should be living. And I want to, would like to bring my enchanted unicorn there to that herd of horses. He would love that. And they have rivers going through those meadows and they can drink water all the time, fresh water, clean water. And we're also going to see goats, several goats and a llama. And we have been feeding those with carrots and apples. So what I want to talk about is the singularity. I want to talk about what's going to happen in the near future. Okay. Some people, they think that they don't consider, they don't think about the robots, they don't think about technology advancing. And they say, oh, things are gonna, they're gonna end badly with humans destroying this planet and causing unimaginable pain and suffering for animals and humans. And I am optimistic. I consider myself to be an optimist, not uh, not in a naive way, but in a realistic way, in a rational sense way, in a structured and in a smart way. So. I know technology is advancing. Okay, some people think, "Oh no, this, where they're at right now, that can't, that can never get to that point where the robots are going to take over and rescue all the animals." Most people they cannot imagine. We're right at the beginning of the curve. Okay, this is called Moore's law when you're at the beginning of the curve you don't realize how the curve in the coordinate system you know the curve between between x and y okay in the coordinate system a statistical graph okay in the very beginning it starts in the very corner you know where that's where we're at right now but the curve is not going to go linearly like this. If it was going linearly from, from the corner of the coordinate system to, let's say, the other corner diagonally, if you were to draw the coordinate system into a square or a rectangular shape, okay, so that would be linearly picking up one to one, you know, like if time goes on as on the X graph, then it picks up one to one in increments on the Y graph. So that would be lin a linear progression. But that's not what's happening. This is a curve graph, okay as almost everything is curved. It is picking up gradually right now in the corner, which looks to most people like, oh, that doesn't look very fast paced, you know, but wait as it progresses, it picks up pace exponentially. That's an that's an exponential curve, or maybe even more than exponential, 
So it might be quadruponential. <laughs> so I don't know, you know. It, so as it picks up pace and time, it, it as it progresses, it, it becomes faster and faster and faster in in the progression movement. So the the increments of progression become much much larger. So it go, it go you know you know what exponential means you know so exponential means me means square two so that means that means it goes from one to two from two to four from four to four times four sixteen okay so two times two <laughs> is four okay and in the beginning it seems slow you know two times two is four okay that doesn't seem very far progressed but then the four exp is exponentialized again not not two times four, but exponentialized by itself, four times four, which makes sixteen. Okay, so two times four would be eight, and then another eight, sixteen. Okay, because it's four times four, <laughs> that's the exponential curve, and then you have sixteen, and then it's sixteen times sixteen. Not two times sixteen, sixteen times sixteen, and then the outcome of that. My math is not very good. The outcome of that will be that outcome multiplied by its own number. So, okay, you can imagine how that goes quickly into the hundreds, and into then int from there very quickly into the ten of tens of thousands. And then from there into the millions, so you can see that the pace becomes it becomes light years of speed, you know. <laughs> so it will it will speed up so fast that in as Ray Kurzweil predicted with his he has a prediction calculator. At MIT, and this prediction calculator has already predicted other things in the past. He's had this for a very long time. That guy's also a, a, an absolute mega genius. But Elon Musk is still, you know, the absolute top. I mean, no nobody has ever reached that level of genius as Elon Musk has. That has never existed before on this planet that is that's completely new that's what Friedrich Nietzsche is talking about when he was talking about the superhuman but Friedrich Nietzsche was particularly referring to a responsible person who is not only smart but super responsible and compassionate and that's what Elon is you know he has all of that and more so the absolute ultra superhuman, you know. So, and he works only for saving lives, saving lives from suffering, okay. saving the ecosystems, you know, saving things, saving nature, okay. So, so that it can it can be well and balanced. And that's what he wants to do. And on Mars, who knows what happened on Mars in the very past. You know. There may have been a civilization who has destroyed that planet. So now he wants to terraform Mars and bring life into it. And an ecosystem that's healthy. Okay. With less gravitational field, but it's... It still has the chance to be very healthy and be adapted to that gravitational field. 
so which is about a third of of the planet earth so we will be only a th weigh only a third of what we weigh right now so I weigh 225 it will be a third of that you do the math so I will be I don't know something like around 60 pounds wow this is amazing so kind of like being like a balloon you know with I would feel like a balloon that is lightweight <laughs> that can bounce up and down like this now that would be that would be on the moon like this so I would be like a bouncing balloon on on the moon that rhymes <laughs> so but yeah I would like to go to the moon or Mars that would be a lot of fun so but in regards to the exponentialized curve you know people can't wrap their heads around it what technology will become in just a few years so and I heard that Elon Musk has already developed a, a super brain okay, so an artificial super brain but he is not allowed to use to activate that so if he activated that he would they would all come after him they would they would cause him a whole lot of problems who knows what they might do they might even bring the military in so so he's not allowed to turn it on that's too bad because <laughs> we need that brain put into Honda Azimo's head okay that's what we need to do and Honda Azimo already key on Honda Azimo can already run he can walk upstairs very quickly and down without any errors okay and with absolute precision he can open bottles he can pour water into a glass he can do all kinds of things he can talk of course but the brain that they use is, is not comparable obviously to the brain that Elon Musk has developed so as we can see there is an enormous resistance from the human species against robotics against particularly against robotic brains <laughs> that are like way 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 more advanced than any brain on this planet including the whales brains so that's like thousands and thousands of times more intelligent and more precise and without ego you know, without territorialism without jealousy without all of these terrible mental illness problems that we have so they will be there be there be no obstacles in the way of precision work and a lot of people are already shitting in their pants uh, a lot of pig farmers are already having diarrhea because of <laughs> because of this prediction you know so I'm sorry about that uh, it would help to not eat pigs anymore so but <laughs> I mean on all levels you know it would definitely end the diarrhea <laughs> And the obesity and and those people they weigh at least twice as much as I do I've seen them with my own eyes on our last trip I, I'm not gonna mention where and I'm not gonna incriminate anyone I mean I would I would love to send courageous people over <laughs> 
and raid that place and free all pigs. I would love to do it. I'd love to help with that. I've been thinking about this on, on the entire van vacation. I, I can't stand thinking about it. And then what they do is, you know, they just claim that public land. They just claim Bureau of Land Management public governmentally owned land or, or like just open free land that belongs to all beings. They just claim it, they just squat on it. And then they, they and they declare it their own. They put a gate up, they put a fence around it, they claim the natural resources that it has. And instead of making it a wellness center, instead of helping all, I just saw five five five. I'm on the right track with this. Instead of helping all beings, they incarcerate living beings and make them suffer. Put pigs in gestation crates. That's what I would like to do with that pig farmer. I would like to free the pigs and put him into that gestation crate and see how he feels. Put him in there for a whole day and a whole night. I'm not a cruel person, so if I was cruel, I would put him in there for months and see how he feels. Because he puts pigs in there for over a year. Okay. He puts mother pigs in there and they can't even turn around themselves. They get sores. Can you imagine if you were in the same position non-stop all the time for like a year? Can you imagine the pain you would feel? The back pain. Your ribs would be hurting. You'd get open sores. And that's what's happening to the pigs. And they are every bit as sentient as we are. Okay. And that's what they make them go through. Okay. It's abhorrent. I want to see how he feels if he's put into that gestation crate. That 400 plus pounder. I mean, it's 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 infinitely sad, infinitely sad, and and he he doesn't even. He doesn't seem to have any compassion at all. He thinks in terms of money and his own gains, what he can get out of someone. So, very sad. But Paul is ready. We're, go we're going now. And to wrap it up, the AGI robots are coming for you, pig farmer.